What's going on guys, it's Cali here and today I want to talk about why I am cautiously optimistic and excited about the Visions of Mana coming out apparently this summer. Now, I have never officially played a Secret of Mana or Trials of Mana. This will be my first time venturing into this series, so I'm expecting somewhat at least decent things. And from the footage that we've been able to see so far, I have to say I'm curious, I'm impressed, and I like what I see. So I'm going to talk about some reasons why I'm particularly excited about this game and I'm still clearing out a lot of JRPGs I've played over the this year but this one has been catching my eye. Now right off the rip I'll say one of the reasons that I'm attracted to this game so far is the aesthetics. I love the vibrant colors, I love the lighthearted nature and it looks like a world that I can be invested and get lost into. Now I've also been hearing that this game or these games used to feature a co-op system so it is pretty unfortunate that the co-op system is not here currently but as far as a single player experience goes the battle system looks somewhat serviceable and good to me. This looks like the type of JRPG this summer that is just going to be light, refreshing and cool like a fresh lemonade drink on a hot 100 degree summer day. That's what this game sort of reminds me of. I don't think this game is going to be particularly anything groundbreaking or crazy. I think it's going to score relatively safe. Maybe I'm going to go 78 to 80 on Metacritic, maybe 80 to 82 on Open Critic. Actually, those are pretty good scores, but I think it's just a nice, cool, refreshing looking game. Now, as far as the cautious part and where I'm a little bit nervous about, I do wonder if this will also be a drawback for this game. Now this is also one of the areas that I'm concerned about this game. I'm wondering that in this year of 2024 where JRPGs have been on their absolute tip top condition and tip top shape, will this game just be another JRPGs thrown in the sea of JRPGs this year? Will this game have enough to stand out in this massive 2024 JRPG splurge and renaissance that we have been in? So far what I'm seeing, the game does look like it has some creativity. It, it, it is re resurrecting a series that I believe a lot of people are passionate about. I saw a lot of Secret of Mana fans, you know, very happy about this game. I couldn't exactly understand their hype because I've never really played these games in the past, but Seeing their reaction when this game got released, it was like everybody was just so happy that this series was back with an actual full entry. So that is one of the things that's driving my curiosity and my somewhat excitement for this game, but also my caution for this game. I can see where a few comments have been saying the game looks a little generic, it, its battle system is not doing anything particularly impressive or different or important, but I'm willing to really give this game a chance and I'm personally excited for it. There's still a couple JRPGs as I mentioned earlier in this year that I gotta get my hands on because this year has just been crazy so my backlog is absolutely ridiculous full of JRPGs right now but as far as the modern 2024 JRPGs go, this game is the next game on my radar. Now, a lot of you know I covered A Union Chronicle pretty heavy on the channel. It was my most anticipated game. But as with anything, things come and they go and we have to move on. And right now, this game, Visions of Mana, has my new sights in my target. I am excited about this game and I'm willing to give this franchise a chance. But those are some of my concerns. It does look a little bit safe. I hope it's not too childish. And I'm wondering if the story on these games are worth anything. One big bummer that I mentioned earlier is the fact that a lot of you guys said that the secret of mana in these games, they were co-op. Another series that does that so well is the Tales of series. And it's one of my favorite features of that franchise. But that to not be present in Visions of Mana already is putting it at a disadvantage. If that was a key component that made these games stand out, Square Enix, what are you doing? Why would you not re-include that co-op feature? And with this battle system, I can see how a co-op feature would greatly benefit this game and have it stand out from the countless other of options that are present in current JRPGs. So for me, guys, I'm cautiously optimistic about this game. Y'all let me know what you are thinking in the comment section down below. Are you hyped for Visions of Mana? Has it been showing you what you want to see out of this game right now? And for any newcomers, are you not even gonna waste your time with this game? 
Like I said, some of the characters, the aesthetic, and the world, and the combat system is catching my eye and invoking some curiosity on my part when it comes to this game. But it remains to be seen if this game will truly have something about it that will make it stand out. So let me know if this game is capturing your attention at all. You guys know I'm going to give it the real, the raw, the uncut uh, response and review when it comes out. If it's not good, I'll definitely say it's not good. But if it's great, I would love to get my hands on it and check it out for you guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. Shout out to my Patreon and my channel members and all my subscribers of the channel. Thank you guys for always showing me support, man. It means so much to us on the channel. We love y'all. All right, y'all. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.